Today is National Grief Awareness Day. The day highlights the topics, provides resources who may need them, and allows those who are grieving to feel less alone. KLTV 7's Avery Niles spoke with two local counselors about today and what it means. National Grief Awareness Day was created in 2014 to highlight and talk about grief, symptoms, resources, and more. Stephen Lantis, a licensed professional counselor at the Burke Center in Lufkin, says this day brings awareness to what grief is and the impact it could have on a person. It may take the form of sadness. It may take the form of anger or depression or anxiety, lots of different symptoms come along with the grief experience. Hannah Weaver, a licensed professional counselor at Aletheia Counseling in Tyler says there are many different forms of grief. Grief not only can be about all sorts of things, it can also be in all sorts of stages. So we can have grief that we're anticipating some event, grief of experiencing it, grief after the event. Lantis says grief can also affect people very differently. People could feel physical sickness and other types of physical issues. In other cases, it's frequent crying or loneliness or the sense of just really being somehow not as much as they were before. Weaver says many communities have grief support groups through churches, counseling centers, and other community resources. For a lot of people, having a community that understands the grief, whether that's a, a community of family members and you spend that time together processing the grief, or if it's some sort of group or faith-based organization that you're a part of that has a way that they describe the grief and they process the grief, that can be really important too. Avery Niles, KLTV 7 News. For more resources, scan that QR code on your screen or visit the big red box on our website.